I have already communicated your message. Okay, sir. Sir, I have called. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Sir, yesterday I sent you a PPT. That. But but I have I have given you the remarks also. Yes, sir. Good evening, Vibhav. Good, good evening, good evening. Sir. Good yes. evening, sir. Sir, I have asked a question on WhatsApp with your dad. What is the difference between private uh, industry and the joint cooperative? No, sir, cooperative industry and joint industry. Sir, what is the difference? बेटे मैंने आपको रिप्लाई भी किया था डिड यू सी दैट सर सर उसमें फिर मैंने पूछा था कि फिर सर इसका मतलब यही है केवल कि कोऑपरेटिव में वो ग्रुप ऑफ द प्राइवेट और इसको जॉइंट में वो ग्रुप ऑफ द प्राइवेट और गवर्नमेंट बस ये डिफरेंस है हां यस मेनली तो यही होगा जॉइंटली आई मीन व्हेन पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट बोथ आर मैनेजिंग दैट इज जॉइंटली एंड कोऑपरेटिव इज व्हेन वॉलंटियरली आई मीन एनीवन कैन एनीवन इन कोऑपरेटिव सेक्टर Sir, it means cooperative sector is a group of private companies, and private sector is only only individual company. You know, it it would be individual one, just like I have given you the example of Amul. You yes, know, sir. Uh, it was started by an individual, and later all people, those who were uh, involved in the cattle rearing or dairy farming, they also involved in with, with the person who I mean who started this. And now it's a uh, you know big organization uh, in the cooperative sector. Okay, sir. Sir, is cooperative sector is cooperative industries are beneficial for the society? Pardon, can you repeat yourself, please? Sir, is cooperative industries are beneficial for the society? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Can't you see the PDS system? PDS public distribution system. Yes, sir. The part of the Uh, community where you know the, the people those who are downtrodden or those who are below poverty line they are being benefited uh, with this uh, PDS system in South India particularly. Okay, sir. I mean, cooperative sector helps to improve the condition of society. Yes, yes. Basically, uh, you know, it works on health issues. Yes, because PDS or it, you you may call it rationing system in India, which is going on. And uh, even the uh, dairy milk, or I mean, there are many other companies uh, which are under the uh, this sector. So they also provide the loans to the farmers. Even they also provide the cheap uh, credits to the people, those who are needy ones. Cooperative societies or cooperative sector industries. The so SHG is also a cooperative society, na? Which one? Sir, so SHG self self help group. Yes, yeah, self help group. Yeah, you know, you can call it. You can call it. Sir, but is but it is not an industry. But it is not an industry. Yeah. Yet, sir, yes, is it a group of the volunteers? I have said. Only. Yeah, that's why I have said society. You know, uh, it cannot be called an industry, but uh, yes, it, it can be called an organization which is working towards. Uh, you know the upliftment of the society as a whole, all together, uh, working in a group, uh, and so can be can be termed as yeah, cooperative. Because okay, when, it becomes, when it becomes a success story, only then it becomes when it is able to get loan on behalf of the entire group from the bank. Only then it becomes. Sir, there was a question in our package of uh, manufacturing industries, which I was not able to crack. Sir, the question is that which one of the following city is automobile hub? And the options, I'm just sir opening the PDF and yes, sir. The question is which of the following cities? Is one of the centers around which automobile industry is located? Mm -hmm. Options. Sir, options are here. Here, Guru Guru Gram, Jaipur, Ita Nagar, mm -hmm. and Ahmedabad. It's Guru Gram, I think. 
sir uh, yes sir, oh. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. is also famous for it industry it is industry industrial area gurugram for automobiles is famous uh, yes sir yeah don't you have answer here webhav yes sir answer key is there so please find it out yes sir gurugram hi hai yahan pe yeah 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 okay sir okay well uh, so uh, today uh, we are doing i mean are you uh, so but you had since you haven't got the notes uh, so i cannot uh, ask anything but yes yes sir we can start the lifeline of the indian economy okay okay so i read the chapter uh, to uh, once so there are some things which were quite facts only do you have any doubt uh, regarding the previous class no sir no sir aditya is saying something aditya yes please sir i am saying no sir okay. no doubts okay okay fine okay uh, i am sharing with you the screen is it visible uh, yes sir yes sir it is visible sir okay life lines of national economy uh, here uh, you know there are many terms and all but uh, uh, these are not uh, much important uh, as far as your ntsc exam is concerned so uh, you come to the hinterland so this is the one which i am looking for right hinterland is one it's an area which serves as a port for international trade say for example maharashtra np rajasthan punjab haryana are the hinterland for mumbai sea port because these are the uh, states which are well connected and uh, uh, to this uh, mumbai port for import and export purposes right and so they serves as the hinterland for international trade which is taking place through mumbai port right students then we have express yes sir express highway is वैसे तो अभी यहां पर जस्ट सिक्स लेन बल्क बेस्ट क्वालिटी रोड इट इज एंड यू नो दैट व्हिच वन इज देयर इन इंडिया जॉइनिंग द फोर मेट्रोपॉलिटन मेगा सिटीज इन द कंट्री गोल्डन क्वाड्रिलेटरल सर गोल्डन क्वाड्रिलेटरल सर मुंबई दिल्ली कोलकाता एंड चेन्नई देन यस यस नाउ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड दिस इज आल्सो अ क्वेश्चन आई मीन हियर इज आल्सो exchange of goods and services between two or more countries is called international trade but what question can be said uh, we'll see it later here only in this chapter then we have here that is all india radio it stands for and uh, earlier it was known as akashwani akashwani yeah then this called a doordarshan now it is now doordarshan doordarshan is what that television network that we have yes sir dd channel <laughs> yes yes it is uh, this the tele national television channel of india and it is largest uh, network in the world right bete sir yes sir sir, sir terrestrial networks means terrestrial matlab dharti pe paya jane wala matlab in i mean all the countries uh, i mean yeah terrestrial matlab which is related to the place the the uh, इसको आप terrestrial matlab earth surface place 
इसको आप इस जोग्राफिकल डेवलपमेंट के लिए आप एक नो 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 कैंसिल ही बोले लेट इट बी लार्जेस्ट नेटवर्क इन द वर्ल्ड इट इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट नेटवर्क इन द वर्ल्ड डोंट कंफ्यूज राइट एंड ओके सर इंडिया टेलीकॉम सिस्टम इज द लार्जेस्ट इन एशिया राइट चिल्ड्रन you to have been uh, one of the seven largest country and second populous country so it is obvious that uh, this telecom system will be obviously uh, largest one now sir yes we sir one of the reason of the uh, highly popularized network of doordarshan is that it is a national indian channel mm, yeah. yes sir and others are not because they are private mm -hmm. bilkul theek hai now remember these facts golden quadrilateral all are important here which i have included the this this is connecting the north and south and east and west all four directions and uh, say for example all four metropolitan cities in the country that is dmck and it is six lane uh, good quality super six express highways its total length is about 5846 km right those who are having the uh, new edition of the book please kindly check the uh, i mean uh, kilometers the distance or the length which is given now east ki agar hum baat kare east west corridor it is it well connects silchar that is in assam with porbandar which is in gujarat and uh, so north south corridor connects srinagar that is in from uri to in jammu kashmir to kanyakumari in the south in tamil nadu right then we have density so aapko pata hona chahiye terminal stations yahan par question kya banega which is the northern terminal station of north south corridor or southern terminal of north south corridor so this is no kanyakumari and uri yeah yes yes, yes. likewise in the east west corridor also then yeah assam and gujarat yes yes and yahan par density of road is the lowest in jammu and kashmir it is only 10 km for 100 square km area density of road is low in this state because this is a hilly state with very low population and aapko pata hai ki waise bhi jammu kashmir ek disputed part hai aur most of the part is occupied by either pakistan or china both all together yes sir 35% india ke paas hai rest is uh, with uh, china and Pakistan. 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 Yes, it is. Then we have highest road density, uh, which is found in Kerala. It is uh, there, 375 kilometer for 100 square kilometer area. While, uh, is the national average the view of the Aapki Bhoomi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please keep this. Uh, I mean, uh, this also. I forgot to involve, but it is. it should be there okay sir we will edit it clear then highest road density okay ho gaya largest pipeline at vj at vj stands for hajira vijaypur and jagdishpur ab yahan par aapko hajira vijaypur and jagdishpur which are the states associated with these uh, hajira vijaypur and jagdishpur पाइपलाइन ये भी आपको ध्यान रखना है स्टेट सर दिल्ली गुजरात वन सर ही सिंह दिल्ली एंड गुजरात ओके तक एलाका उसे 517 होगा ना 517 किलोमीटर सर यूपी एंड मध्य प्रदेश आर रिलेटेड टू एचवीजी सर 
जगदीशपुर जगदीशपुर इज इन यूपी एंड विजयपुर इज इन गुजरात मध्य प्रदेश गुजरात यूपी एंड मध्य प्रदेश यस सर यस सर सर केला का सर मतलब फाइव वन सेवन होना चाहिए ना क्या होती है बेटे करीब सर ओल्ड बुक कैंसर मतलब केला का सर वो डेंसिटी फाइव वन सेवन किलोमीटर दिया हुआ है फाइव वन सेवन इसमें सर ओल्ड बुक के अंदर सर एनसीआरटी में फाइव वन सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन यस सर हाँ ये बिल्कुल हो सकता है क्योंकि आपके पास न्यू एडिशन हो सकता है बेटे बिल्कुल हो सकता है सर वो ओल्ड एडिशन में है हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल आप मुझे बताओ पेज नंबर बताओ आप मुझे सर एटी फोर पे रोड डेंसिटी आप मेरे मुझे बताओ तो मैं यहाँ पर चेंज कर देता हूँ ना इसको सर and kindly check this also in jammu and kashmir sir 12.14 yes this, this is chill and date of which year it is 12. Point? sir 31 march 2011 sir 31 march 2011 okay 12.1 sir 12.14 12.14 okay sir so national average is also given One minute, please. Let me change. National average is yeah. Yes, yes, please. One forty-two point six eight. National average is one forty-two point six eight. किलोमीटर पर स्क्वायर पर हंड्रेड यस सर ओके इज देर एनीथिंग टू बी चेंज इन द डेटा Can we go ahead then? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, see, the, now the confusion regarding the states to connected by HVJ pipeline is cleared. Now Gujarat, UP, and Madhya Pradesh. Here now. सर ऐसा है क्या कि हजीरा गुजरात में है विजयपुर मध्य प्रदेश में है और जगदीशपुर जो है वो यूपी में है सर ऐसा ही है ऐसी ओके नाउ एन एच वन इट कनेक्ट दिल्ली एंड अमृतसर सो द टर्मिनल स्टेशन फॉर एन एच वन वुडी Sir, it is also known as Shirsha Suri Mark. Yes, please. Yes. 
It is also known as Sher Shah Suri Mark. Yeah. And you know why? Sir, because Sher Shah Suri uh, built by Sher Shah Suri. Sir, because it has been constructed during the Sher Shah reign. Between 1542-1545. And it stretched up to? Sir, uh, up to, I think, Lahore, Peshawar. Peshawar, in Pakistan. From Kolkata, I think. Yeah. Clear? Then NH2. Now NH2, see, Sesha Suri Mar has been split into two. That is NH1, which starts from Delhi to Amritsar. And this NH2 is now from Delhi to Kolkata. So it is also known as GT Road, Grand Current Road. Clear, Abate? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now NH3 connects Mumbai and Agra, and uh, NH8 connects Delhi and Mumbai. NH47A connects Cochin City to Cochin Port, and it is one of the shortest road in India. And longest up to Badai, NH7 from Varanasi to Kanyakumari. It is the longest one. It's this is the one that you have seen in your book. Yes, sir, 2369 km. 2369 km. Can you repeat, please? Two, three, six, nine, two, three, six, nine kilometer. Two, three, six, nine. No, I have doubt. Sir, book can they make a way? So, you have to use a yard at me. Okay. So, test, longest, both we have got to know. Sesha Suri, you have got to know uh, SVJ pipeline and the uh, states connected, you have got to know the national average of the roads, uh, lowest and highest, you have got to know, and uh, that's it. Okay. Now, road transports and its uh, times. So, that is, uh, you know, Golden Quadrilateral Super uh, Highways, that is all about, you know, uh, we are not going uh, much deep into that. Now, national highways. What do you remember here? National highways, state highways, district road and other roads. I mean, the body which takes care of them or maintain them or build them. That's central Public Works Department. Yeah. So, CPW. Central Public Works Department. That is Central Public Works Department. And SPWD, that is State, state Public Works Department. State Public, state public Works work Department. Right. And the district roads are... When, uh, sir, they are covered under Mantri Gram Grameen. Yeah. They are maintained by Zilla Parishad. And border road, that is BRO. This is border road organization. This takes care of. Uh, so they are made to BSF. And you know, these are the border road organization makes roads only in the strategic area which means which are close to the i mean the bordering areas of india um, yes, sir. like siachin sir neighboring country also yes sir pok and yes, yes all that lsc and yeah all those yes sir 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 yes जो हमारे नए ये है ना NH1, NH2 दिस दी ऑल दी मतलब पूरे रोड्स वो उनको सबको कंट्रोल करता है नेशनल अथॉरिटी ऑफ नेशनल हाईवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया ओके सर जितने भी हमारे नेशनल हाईवेज है ना जितने भी रोड्स हैं यस सर नाउ मैरिट्स दी मैरिट्स यू ऑल नो uh, I mean, quite tedious. These are construction and maintenance of road is uh, lower than the railways. You know, when we compare, road can be constructed uh, anywhere on hills, also on plateau area, or forested land, or 
deserts also but uh, railways cannot be right while roads can negotiate the high degree of slopes also but the wo uche niche undulated jo land hoti hai uh, you can construct you can maintain them but it is very difficult uh, maintaining the railway lines or uh, laying the railway lines in the hilly areas then roads provide door to door services uh, to us i mean um, while railways uh, cannot roads can be constructed in hilly areas also and forested land also it is economical and useful for transferring small amount of goods uh, to longer distances or to smaller distances i mean to smaller distances yes which is economical while longer distances we use the railways now transportation of perishable items uh, these are most reliable road रोड के थ्रू आप फटाफट उसको कहीं पर भी डोर टू डोर सर्विसेज आप दे सकते हो जो भी पैरिटेबल गुड्स है एंड क्योंकि सर रेलवेज में रेफ्रिजरेटेड रेलवेज नहीं होते और वैसे भी रेलवे से रेलवे फिर हमें डोर टू डोर सर्विसेज भी नहीं देती है ना इसलिए भी हमें मुश्किल होता है यस सर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन यस देन कॉस्ट ऑफ लोडिंग एंड अनलोडिंग इज लोअर इन द रोडवेज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन व्हाइल इट इज यू नो कंपैरेटिवली हायर गुड इन रेलवे या रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट प्रोवाइडर्स द लिंक बिटवीन अदर मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट जैसे कि आपके रेलवेज है एयरपोर्ट्स है सी पोर्ट्स है ऑल आर वेल कनेक्टेड बाय द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट ओनली इज इट क्लियर यस सर यस सर नाउ प्रॉब्लम्स फेस बाय द रोडवेज आपको पता है कि वॉल्यूम ऑफ ट्रैफिक इंडिया कंट्री लाइक इंडिया वी हैव यू नो ट्रैफिक इज क्वाइट आई मीन इट्स अ मेन प्रॉब्लम इन जनरली द metropolitan cities mega cities yeah so the volume of traffic and passengers if we keep in mind i mean roads are not matching with the increasing number of people and the uh, goods that takes place through these roads so it is uh, we should say that roads are inadequate most of the roads are unmetered in the country uh, at times uh, uh, using them during the rainy season it is very difficult and uh, or they are not viable to use the national highways are inadequate also india mein agar hum baat and they are even congested if they are, they are they are they are congested also because india aapko pata hai most second most populous country hai so uh, wide roads uh, i mean apne aap mein ek uh, bahut badi problem hai roads are highly congested and uh, most of the bridges and culverts are old and narrow ab dekhoge chote ek area ko dusre area se agar connect karna hota hai uh, true कलवर्स और ब्रिजेस और क्या बोलते हैं कोई भी नाला कोई भी रिवर कोई भी किनार अगर है तो वो बहुत पुराने वाले ब्रिजेस बने हुए हैं बहुत छोटे छोटे नैरो कलवर्स बनी हुई हैं उनके ऊपर तो ये बिल्कुल मतलब ठीक नहीं है बहुत पुराने हैं जैसे कि मैं अगर दिल्ली की ही बात करूं आ, अगर इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू नोज बेटर जितने भी पुल बने हुए हैं वो कितने कंजस्टेड हैं बहुत वो चेंज भी नहीं हुए हैं आपके आस आपके आसपास भी जो कोई किसी पी के मूवी में भी था सर सर व्हाट एक जो ब्रिज है आपके आसपास जो ये एरिया है यमुना बिहार वाला एरिया यस सर ओल्ड आर ब्रिज इज देयर यस हंड्रेड ईयर ओल्ड यस इसके अलावा एक और मैं उसका नाम मुझे अभी क्लिक नहीं कर रहा है आपके आसपास ही है वो आपके इंस्टीट्यूट की वो पी के मूवी में वहां पर शूटिंग वगैरह हुई थी रेन रेन वो वो पूरा भर जाता है नीचे से उसमें से इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कम अक्रॉस सो दिस इज व्हाट आई मीन दिस इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज बीइंग फेस बाय द रोडवेज देन वी हैव इंडियन रेलवे एट द ग्राउंड नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द इंडियन रेलवे एंड इट्स हिस्ट्री you know in 1853 between mumbai and thane just for 34 km i haven't mentioned it uh, i'm mentioning uh, it was sir uh, april 1853 around 34 km distance it was and uh, it was the first train which steamed off between mumbai and thane uh, for 34 km it's our first train in india yeah yeah yes yeah. so it connects state capital and capitals uh, of india even which means 
all capital cities in India are well connected by the Indian railways. Uh, it also connects the major towns and cities or tourist places, mining centers, sea ports, airports, etc. Right. So there are more than 7,000 stations and 63 kilometers. Might be figure might be changed uh, if you are having the latest data as per your uh, latest edition of book. So please uh, see to it and check it. Then Indian Railway is divided into 16 zones uh, for proper administration. Railways uh, in India have three gauge system that is broad gauge. और आजकल मैं आपको बता दूं मोस्ट ऑफ द जो इंडियन रेलवे है वो ब्रॉड गेज पे ही मैनेज हो रही है और जितने भी नैरो गेज या मीटर गेज है उनको इनफैक्ट दे आर बीइंग कन्वर्टेड टू ब्रॉड गेज नाउ मीटर गेज और यस दे आर नॉट कन्वर्टेड इन द हिली एरिया और सम एरिया व्हिच आर क्वाइट रिस्की तो वहां पर अभी भी थोड़ा चल रहा है और वो चलेगा क्योंकि वो हिली है राइट अदरवाइज इन प्लेन्स and wherever it is possible, most of the railway lines are broad gauge now. Either broad gauge or they are being converted to. And you can see here the length also because uh, NTSC question may, uh, you know, you, you may have any question on their measurement also. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then there are uh, types of train running in India like Rajdhani, Shtavadi or uh, Mail and Express. Uh, then local and special trains also, but here Rajdhani and Shravadi Express, the question holds at that. Nehru Shatavadi train, it's the Pura Nama Grab Deko, it's the Yeh Shatavadi train. Sir, what's the other thing? Yeh bitte ek kara se width hoti hai, railway track ki, jiske upar trains, heavy trains, badi wali train chalti hai. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, okay. Konkan Railway, yes. Which railway is one of the best example of uh, railway engineering in India? So that is this. You know, पहले दिल्ली से गोवा अगर आप जाते थे या साउथ इंडिया में जाते थे तो कोंकण रेलवे जब तक नहीं बनी थी आपको लगभग कम से कम 10 घंटे का टाइम ज्यादा लगता था 8 से 10 घंटे का टाइम एंड दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस पर्सनली व्हेन आई वाज अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ ज्योग्राफी इन 1993 बट व्हेन सेकंड you know, railway, Konkan railway, and it is amazing uh, moving through these tunnels and bridges. Apne apne achha lagta hai. It's amazing. Around 94-95 tunnels, around 100 these are. Yes. There is a there is marked improvement in Indian railway now. Uh, say for example, computerized reservation system we have. These are the modern facilities that we have given to the railways. Waiting room facilities on the stations we do have. Uh, we have catering facilities also and uh, world class catering facilities uh, it is. Then electrification of the tracks is being done regularly. Yes, sir, security by the police is also there, railway police. This is a uni gauge system, many especially marked here uni gauge, which means conversion of all gauges into the broad gauge. And uh, this is the policy of the Indian railway. Ki possible and wherever it is possible and to what extent I mean all gauges should be converted into the broad gauges. Is the kyaoga railways ka advantage in Lenki wo eggs are broad gauge to be bade or there to uspe up heavy uh, I mean more number of passengers and uh, goods you can carry all together at one I mean at one time. Then we have replacement of steam engine with electric ones. This is also going on wherever we have electric track. Then we have special trains like Rajdhani Shtabadi and Jan Shtabadi or summer special. This is a very rough train. Hai. Uh, somewhere it is going on Delhi to I think Patna or Bihar. Uthar, uthar bhi hai. 
ये इट वाज लॉन्च व्हेन मिस्टर लालू प्रसाद यादव वाज द रेलवे मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया देन मेरिट्स ऑफ और एडवांटेजेस ऑफ रेलवे ओके रेलवे की एडवांटेज ये है बच्चे इट कैन कैरी बल्कि एंड हैवी मटेरियल्स टू फार अवे डिस्टेंसेस आप लंबे टाइम लंबे आई मीन लॉन्गर डिस्टेंसेस पे आप हैवी एंड बल्कि मटेरियल्स को कैरी कर सकते हो विद हेल्प ऑफ दीस रेलवेज व्हाइल्स फॉर शॉर्टर डिस्टेंसेस वी हैव आई मीन रोड वेज व्हिच आर मोस्ट फिटेड इट इज चीपर फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग गुड्स फॉर लॉन्गर डिस्टेंसेस यस इट इज and best for transportation of raw material like iron or heavy materials or okay, manganese coal etc then we have fast mode of transportation yes and railways ki help se bahut jaldi se pahuncha sakte ho instead of uh, through the trucks or uh, roadways whatever large number of passengers can be transported on to other railway provides various other facilities like uh, night bus catering computerized reservation and many others but what we have discussed in the previous section then we have problems problems related question dekho agar statement ki form mein agar aata hai to wo ye aa sakta hai inme se bhi like which of the following statement is not associated with the roadways or railways majority of wo depend karta hai ki wahan par jo statement di hai wo kaisi hai agar if there are four statements all together one would be different and another three would be the uh, belonging to the or associated with the same either they would be associated with railways or they would be associated with the roadways or unme se ek different hogi so wo aapko identify karni hai the correct one is that clear yes sir okay and ye aap tab kar paoge jab aapko bilkul concept clarity hogi now problems faced by the railway you know at times it is difficult to lay tracks on the sandy plains of rajasthan and you know uh, we have uh, much of the sands and generally sands mein uh, railway track ko lay karna i mean it's very difficult to and also in the swamps or marshy lands of gujarat run of kutch and road and also the forested track of madhya pradesh aapko pata hai madhya pradesh mein mp mein bahut sara forest hai aur forested land ko kaat kar aur railways ko रेलवे ट्रैक को वहाँ पर बिछाना अपने आप में इकोलॉजिकल बैलेंस को डिस्टर्ब करने वाली बात है तो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट यस सर एनवायरमेंटल लॉस के अगेंस्ट सर सर गुजरात में तो सर सैंडी सोइल ही होता है ना सोइल सलाइन भी होता है बेटे वहाँ पर सलाइन भी है एलिवियल भी है वो डेट इज इन द इनटू द पैचेस ओके सर यस and also black bhi hai in some patches it is black also black yeah. alluvial and uh, saline to so, second deccan trap mein phaili hoti hai puri yes yes sir yes. and at times you know the railway track sinks in some stretches due to landslides kahin kahin par aap dekhte hoge ki uh, railway track sink ho sakte hain ho, ho jaate hain kai baar However, uh, the Indian railway do takes care of all these things while the railway tracks are laid. But uh, you know, at times, it, I mean, everything depends on uh, some other activities also which are taking inside the earth. Then we have uh, many passengers uh, who travels without the tickets. This is also one of the biggest problem of railways. Even the thefts and damage to railway property is being done by the people those who travel in railway. people stop the train unnecessarily sometimes and they pull the chain though it is not needed which cause a heavy damage to the railway you know even a single uh, minutes or uh, hours uh, i mean are very very important agar ek bar train ruki to uska matlab hai 5 10 minute usko fir se start hone mein aur delay ho jata hai uski speed ko karne mein i mean agar ek so 5 7 minute ka bhi agar delay hota hai to apne aap mein ye nuksan mana jata hai railway ke liye because any day indian railways are uh, you know notorious uh, throughout the world uh, for their uh, uh, no i mean not following their time tables they run uh, behind the times then we have pipelines in the country you know well pipelines ki agar hum baat kare to uh, we have uh, to transport earlier they were used to transport water 
but now so they are using uh, to transport gas and uh, liquid materials also uh, such as minerals or refined oil or natural gas or water or even the milk main aapko bata dun new zealand is the uh, first country uh, which uses uh, to transport milk from one place to another so Solid, by using pipelines new zealand yes new zealand the pipelines ka use wahan par milk ko transport karne mein hota hai jaise hum log pipelines ke through pani wali लेके आता है ना हमारे घर की सप्लाई होती है यस सर दिल्ली जल बोर्ड्स वहां पर मिल्क की सप्लाई होती है सर न्यूजीलैंड देन सॉलिड आई मीन दे दे विल बी हैविंग अ मिल्क मीटर इन ऑल ऑफ दिस व्हिच वी हैव फॉर वाटर नाउ सॉलिड आइटम्स कैन आल्सो बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड इन सिलरी फॉर्म सिलरी फॉर्म मतलब ये ज्योग्राफी में ये वर्ड यूज होता है अ बिट स्टिकी इट इज मतलब जैसे कोल है कोल को भी आप सिलरी फॉर्म में आप ट्रांसपोर्ट कर सकते थोड़ा सा लिक्विड वाली फोन होती है ये पाइपलाइंस आर आल्सो फाउंड द सर आल्सो इन द बेलारी चित्रदुर्गा चिकमगलूर तुमकुरु बेल्ट द स्लरी इज फ्रॉम कुदरेमुख माइंस द स्लरी इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय पाइपलाइन टू न्यू मैंगलोर पोर्ट यस 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 राइट देन इफ वी टॉक ऑफ पाइपलाइन जनरली दे आर फाउंड ऑयल प्रोड्यूसिंग सेंटर्स टू ऑयल रिफाइनरी प्लांट्स and the from oil refinery plants to the market we are other than this in india agar hum baat kare assam mein uh, they are transported from brony to ilabad oil refinery through pipeline so then we have uh, another is uh, from uh, slaya to jalandhar in punjab via mathura in up and delhi very important pipeline and so uh, most important the longest in india is hbj we have already discussed uh, covering three states and 1700 km long yes sir now, gujarat madhya pradesh up yes sir yes. now advantages of pipeline transport see its jo initial cost hoti hai that uh, may be higher but once it is laid uh, it is all together cheaper pipelines is the best uh, for transportation of gas and liquid material like oil natural gas water and milk however construction of pipeline is cheaper than road and railways pipeline can be constructed in forest to swampy area hills and desert kisi bhi track pe isko aap kar sakte ho aur india mein ek pipeline proposed hai along with via iraq pakistan and iraq बट अभी वो प्रपोज ही है क्योंकि पाकिस्तान अभी उसको इंडिया नहीं चाहता कि पाकिस्तान से वो आए इंडिया भी नहीं चाहता अभी राइट तो और पाकिस्तान अभी मना नहीं कर रहा है बिकॉज द माई लेटर टॉक बिटवीन इंडिया एंड और द डायलॉग बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान इज नॉट गुड तो सिंस दिस न्यू गवर्नमेंट हैज कम इन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान एंड now pipeline can ensure regular quick and uh, on demand supply of liquid and gaseous material jaise ki aap dekhte ho shahar ke andar aapko gas ki jitni bhi demand hai wo regularly aapke paas aati rehti hai so just like uh, liquid also pani uh, you know regularly it is coming to your house and so i have given you the example for milk which is being used uh, uh, i mean coming through the pipelines in new zealand like country right so pipelines can be operated at low energy cost and uh, it doesn't uh, pollute the environment plus uh, jo transshipment loss hota hai jaise pani ko india mein aapne dekha hoga indian roads pe because they are not so good pani ka tanker agar ja raha hai to uska pani piche se gir raha hota hai so this transshipment jo loss hota hai cheezon ka uh, which are carried through uh, roadways uh, this can be avoided using pipelines so this is one of the advantage of pipeline is that clear sir yes it is sir the uh, reason for the leakage of the water from the tank is given such as such like this that this is for the pollution control air pollution control ha ah, bilkul pipeline dekho agar aap pipeline ke through gas uh, or ye sab le ja rahe ho to wo yes but usme thoda sa ye hai ha iske ye bilkul theek hai ki iske through aap le ja sakte ho aur usse control bhi hota hai bilkul बिल्कुल ठीक है बट उसमें ये है कि हमें इसके रख रखाव में ना थोड़ा सा हमें अगर मान लो किसी ने तोड़ दिया उसको तो बहुत मुश्किल हो जाएगा 
मतलब बहुत ही नुकसान हो जाएगा तो उसका रख रखाव थोड़ा सा महंगा पड़ता है नीम जमीन सर एक्चुअली पाइपलाइंस तो तभी बनते हैं जब सिटीज नई नई बनाई जाती है तो नीचे से ही सारी पाइपलाइंस बना देते हैं तो उसमें डिग फ्री हो जाता है पूरा एनवायरनमेंट लाइक द ढोलेरा प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ गुजरात लेकिन जैसे अगर हम बात कर रहे हैं ना बड़ी बड़ी पाइपलाइंस तो जैसे अगर किसी कंट्री से हम कनेक्ट करने की अभी बात कर रहे हैं जो प्रपोज पाइपलाइन की बात मिली थी आपकी बुक में भी आई थिंक दिया होगा शायद वन ऑफ द प्रपोज पाइपलाइन अगर नहीं है तो आई थिंक ये ट्वेल्थ में है वहां पर नहीं ओके ओके सर इन मोटरल की जरूरत है तो वहां पर दिया हुआ है और वो बताया हुआ है वो एशिया की सबसे बड़ी पाइपलाइन होने वाली है और बस पाकिस्तान से ही थोड़ा सा सर कौन सी इंडिया टू इराक सर इंडिया टू इराक वुड बी अ पाइपलाइन प्रपोज्ड है इट इज इट इज प्रपोज्ड सर बट दे आर इन डायलॉग यस सर सर बट इट इज अगेंस्ट द a uh, natural of the the land policy of the pakistan and other countries because we are digging a pipeline our pipeline on the land or, or in the lower region of the land of the other countries hamari hi pipeline nahi hogi wo jitne bhi countries like like india pakistan afghanistan and jo bhi country jo uske usme aayega wo sab sabko milkar hi wo sab karna padega okay sir it would be a joint joint program okay sir joint venture then uh, we have water transportation in india and uh, it is cheapest among all the transportations that we have whether it is railways or roadways or pipelines or airways right they are cheaper uh, in the sense that uh, they are able to transport bulky and heavy raw materials uh, in no cost or almost the uh, cheaper rates it can be then india has many perennial and uh, seasonal rivers also you know and these uh, rivers offer transport facility in india though uh, on limited uh, level but it is yes sir hubli river in the ancient period was so much used yeah has about 14500 km uh, long inland navigation waterways and uh, it has long sea coast and main aapko bata dun ye jo india mein india is the only country ninth class mein aap padh chuke ho which has the highest Yes, sir, coast line. Coast coast line, line 7056. किसी भी कंट्री में इतनी बड़ी कोस्ट लाइन नहीं है जितनी इंडिया में दिस इज दी कंट्री दैट इज फॉर दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इंडिया इज अक कंट्री यस सर थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑल्सो फॉर्म द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट वट इज दीड और इनसिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द स्ट्रेटेजिक पोजिशन ऑफ द इंडियन कोस्ट लाइन सेवन फाइव वन फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर इंपोर्टेंट है इनके टर्मिनल स्टेशन आपको पता होने चाहिए दैट इज गंगा एंड गंगा इज द एन एच वन विच इज वन सिक्स टू जीरो किलोमीटर इट्स लैंड टोटल लैंड बिटवीन इलाहाबाद एंड हल्दिया देन वी हैव नेशनल वाटर वेज टू दैट इज फ्रॉम ब्रह्मपुत्रा रिवर एंड इट्स लैंड इज एट नाइन वन किलोमीटर बिटवीन सैडिया इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश एंड sir yes my dear sir what are these national waterways just like the national highways that we have these are the waterways they are the roadways okay sir matlab they are the specified uh, path means these are na- navigable which means these are navigable rivers between these and these uh, points okay sir then we have national waterways third Uh, west coast canal uh, that is between kollam to kotapuram kodai canal bhi bolte hain isko its length is just 205 km now problems of using uh, water ways you know panic distance ko sir yaad karna kaise sir yaad kaise rakhenge sir isko dekho bete distances wagera 
एग्जेक्ट अगर लेंथ तो जनरली जनरली ना इस तरह के क्वेश्चन कम आते हैं जिसमें डेट्स और फिगर एग्जैक्ट पूछे जाते हो ऐसे कम क्वेश्चन आते हैं ये मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन होते हैं इसमें किसी स्किल्स की जरूरत नहीं होती राइट इसलिए वो इस तरह के क्वेश्चन कम आते हैं बट क्या आ सकता है यहाँ पर विच वन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट एन एच सॉरी एन डब्ल्यू एन डब्ल्यू या गंगा टू गंगा रिवर अलाहाबाद टू हेलेंडा ऐसा भी आ सकता है कि एन डब्ल्यू वन इज वन ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट वन इन इंडिया बिटवीन विच टू अलाहाबाद एंड हल्दिया कोई भी एक करेक्ट होगा और रेस्ट मुझे Yes, sir. Longest would be remembered. Or which river in India is associated with National Water Way? One. That's it. Yeah, okay. Okay, sir. The distance is not important. Ah, distance. Look, if you can, you must. If you cannot, I mean, how much? I mean, I don't think so. Generally, I haven't seen such questions. And nowadays, the policy is serious. That they avoid such kind of questions. Sir, what is West Coast Canal? 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 या आप अपनी बुक में देखो मेरे पेज नंबर एटी फाइव कैनाल है इट्स नॉट अ रिवर ओके इसके अलावा एन एन एच फोर भी है बट वो देख सकते हो आप बुक के अंदर दिया हुआ है यहाँ पर मेंशन नहीं है ये ओल्ड बुक का डेटा है महानदी एंड ब्रह्मानी रिवर्स ऑन द ईस्ट कोस्ट कैनाल फाइव 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 एट एट किलोमीटर इज द एन डब्ल्यू नंबर फाइव एंड एन डब्ल्यू नंबर फोर इज द Stretches of Godavari and Krishna River. That is 1,078 kilometers. In the new book, it is available. Sir, old book can there be? Yeah. Old book, yeah. Okay. Sir, 16th one, I mean, that 16th one. 2016. तो सबसे छोटा आपका यहाँ पर एन एच थ्री एंड सबसे बड़ा आपका रिवर्सोर्स And because of this, we also face uh, problem in navigation. Then we have water transportation is slowest among all the transport modes. Maybe we still don't prefer to do it. It takes too much of time uh, to move from one place to another through uh, water. Uh, Then construction of dams and barriers or uh, also blocks water ways. This is why the rivers, which are main rivers, have a lot of water, and uh, so they are not. रीजन The transport that uh, come across the waterways. यहाँ पर आपको कुछ नियम हैं तो यहाँ पर लगाते हैं. Major seaports. 
Kandla in Kutch. You know which one has been highlighted? You just see two. Why Kandla in Kutch is famous for? It is the first seaport of independent India and is a tidal yes. port, right? While Mumbai the tidal port means tidal. I mean, the tides are there, tides, low tides, high tides. Yes, sir. So whenever we have uh, high tides and low tides, generally uh, we load or unload the thing. Generally, high tide pe hi port ka istemal ho sakta hai jab aap pani bahut jada concentrate ho jata hai jagah pe aur fir aap aaram se jo aisa to nahi hai ki ek dam se wapas receive ho jayega no wo kai hours tak pani stand rehta hai ek jagah aur dheere dheere receive hota hai to by the time aap loading and unloading kar sakte ho post pe sir sir but tides to har har sea mein har ocean mein aati hai to sir All should be of tide. All ports would be a tidal port. Twenty-four hours में आती है एक बार जरूर आता है twenty-four hours में. जैसे वो तो हर water body में आता है ना पर तो फिर all the ports will be known as tidal port. No no no. क्योंकि देखो जहाँ पर ports ports के लिए आपको ना अभी आपने पढ़ा था ना एक problem है कि Indian generally Indian sea coast आप shallow. पर जहाँ पर shallow नहीं है वहाँ पर आप इसको अच्छे से use कर सकते हो. जैसे मैंने तो Mumbai port में देखा है. मुंबई जो जहाँ पर गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया है दिस आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस वहाँ पर रेस्ट आई हैव एंड सीन मारमा गाँव मैंने देखा है गोवा में इसके अलावा मैंने कोई और पोर्ट नहीं देखी है तो वो मैंने वहाँ देखा है कि कैसे पानी हाई टाइड्स जब आता है तो कैसे उसका यूज किया जाता है वो मैंने देखा है वहाँ पर ओके सर देन वी हैव मुंबई विच इज द बिगेस्ट नेचुरल पोर्ट एंड It is sheltered harbour. से कान्हा पोर्ट को से दीनदयाल पोर्ट भी बोलते हैं ना? हाँ जी बेटे। से कान्हा पोर्ट को से दीनदयाल पोर्ट भी बोलते हैं ना? ये recently कोई नाम change हुआ होगा? ये अभी क्या होगा मोदी गोरी में? मोदी गोरी के अंदर दिया हुआ है। अच्छा ओके। कान्हा पोर्ट क्या बोला दीनदयाल पोर्ट Yeah, now, Cochin Port. Uh, it's the it's in the extreme southwest of India, and uh, it is located at the entrance of a lagoon with a natural harbour. So, its the position is which one is the is uh, located in the extreme southwest of India. So that is Cochin. You might be having other options along with them, but your answer would be Cochin. ऐसे तो हल्दिया पोर्ट है ऐसे तो बहुत सारे पोर्ट है जरा मोर देन एटीन मेजर पोर्ट आई है ऐसे तो हल्दिया पोर्ट जस्ट टू बी कैन जस्ट कलकत्ता पोर्ट राइट और टू शेयर द गार्डन ऑफ कलकत्ता पोर्ट इट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड लाइक वाइज चेन्नई पोर्ट इज द ओल्डेस्ट वन एंड द आर्टिफिशियल पोर्ट इट इज विशाखापट्टनम इज द डीपेस्ट लैंड लॉक पोर्ट एंड द मोस्ट प्रोटेक्टेड पोर्ट इट इज और विशाखापट्टनम इज आल्सो अ स्टील प्लांट नो सर फ्रॉम विशाखापट्टनम वी 
ट्रांसपोर्ट द स्टील दिस इज दर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज में क्वेश्चन था एक उसका उसमें लिखा हुआ था विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पब्लिक सेक्टर स्टील प्लांट इज लोकेटेड नियर अ पोर्ट तो उसका आंसर विशाखापट्टनम था नियर अ पोर्ट हां बिल्कुल 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 क्योंकि कलकत्ता के बाद मुझे जो लगता है विशाखापट्टनम ही है यस क्योंकि छोटा नागपुर के प्लांटों के सबसे नजदीक ये ये लगता है अदर देन कलकत्ता एंड ओके सर हमारी मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टील प्रोड्यूसिंग यूनिट्स तो मेन आसपास के एरिया में लोकेटेड है यस सर नियर टू द पोर्ट्स बिकॉज़ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन या और वहां पे दुर्ग बस पर चंद्रपुर बेल्ट है Yes. Then Paradip uh, is in uh, Odisha port. Uh, that is uh, one of the port in Odisha. It is. Calcutta is an inland riverine port and tidal port also. <coughs> Its hinterland is quite rich. Yes, sir. Haldia port, which is also in uh, West Bengal, as a subsidiary port, it was developed uh, just to decongest the workload of the Calcutta port. And so, so which port is the ancient port? Which port is the ancient one? Uh, I think Mumbai. Can't lie, Yoga. Mumbai. पहले कराची हुआ करता था वो लेकिन वहाँ चला गया ना पाकिस्तान. Sir, East India Company used to make mega cities only at those places which are having coastal areas. सबसे पुराने जो long coastal lines. आपने हिस्ट्री में कहीं ना कहीं पढ़ा होगा ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिश नेवी के बारे में यस सर ब्रिटिश नेवी रॉयल मेक देयर रॉयल दे यूज्ड टू मेक देयर शिप विद ओक ट्रीज और उस टाइम पर ये माना जाता था द कंट्री हु इज हैविंग कंट्रोल ओवर द मोस्ट ऑफ द स्ट्रेटजिक वाटर बॉडीज इज कंसीडर्ड एज वाज कंसीडर्ड एज द पावरफुल एंड द कॉलोनियल parts that was the british navy yeah. so would we move ahead then yes sir yes sir we can now air waves the fastest mode of transportation transportation and most comfortable also and can cover longer distances within hours shorter period of time yeah and because of which the entire world has become a global village Air. Yes, sir. Air transport uh, is very important in the rescue operations uh, during the hazards or uh, disasters like floods, earthquake, or famine, or uh, landslides, or many others. It also connects isolated and far away places uh, with main stream of the country, and it is one of the best for north eastern states. अब देखो. एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इसलिए क्वेश्चन बनता है वहां पर एक कोई पिक दी होगी दी होगी आपकी बुक में नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट से रिलेटेड यस सर दी हुई है दिया हुआ है मैं इसको देख पाऊंगा यस सर व्हाई इज एयर ट्रैवल प्रेफर्ड इन नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स इमेज ऑफ अ हेलीकॉप्टर इज बीइंग फॉर्मड हियर सर 7.9 पवन हंस पवन हंस हेलीकॉप्टर का एग्जांपल दिया गया है जो कि ऑयल इंडिया लिमिटेड और गैस कॉर्पोरेशन के लिए हेलीकॉप्टर सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड कराते हैं। क्वेश्चन ये आ सकता है व्हाई एयर ट्रैवल इज प्रेफर्ड इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स? यस सर बिकॉज़ टेरेन इज नॉट क्लियर फॉर द रोडवेज दैट्स व्हाई एयरलाइन इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दैट। बिकॉज़ ऑफ बिकॉज़ ऑफ डाइसेक्टिव टेरेन और बिकॉज़ ऑफ फॉरेस्टेड लैंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ यस सर इररेगुलर टेरेन बिकॉज़ ऑफ रेडलाइन डिफरेंसेस या So it is preferred for common people, right? Now, in India, domestic services is provided by Indian Airlines, while international air transport services is provided by Air India. यहाँ पर भी confusing question होता है। एक बार हम we as a human being gets confused कि domestic कौन सा था और international कौन सा। So here you have to need to take care of this also. Sir, what is domestic? Sir, domestic is Air Air India. Within India, within India, that is domestic. Domestic services provided by Indian airline and international by Air India. Sir, यहाँ पे nationalised भी कर दिया था ना 1953 में air services को India में। हाँ। 
But other than this, still we have uh, many uh, private uh, airlines also. Like Power Indigo, SpiceJet uh, and various companies. Power, yeah. Power Hunt provides us the helicopter facility, Power Hunt Limited. Uh, it is also important. And uh, we have many private lines like Sahara, Kingfisher, uh, which are operating in India and many other countries. Then problems. It is one of the post year ones and not suitable for the common people in day to day now. Right? Except northeastern states. This is the sort of construction. It's huge capital intensive or technological intensive. Sir, North in Eastern states, sir, their connectivity is very poor. So, from there, the airlines operate through their planes. How do they stay connected to their planes? India is going to operate. Yes, yeah, sir, government is not the poor one. Yes, sir, this is a big thing. It's a big risk oriented. Government can take care of this. And no other individual or group of people. Now, difference between personal and mass communication. See, in personal communication, if you look at communication takes place between how many people? Two at a time. While in mass communication, communication takes place between more or many people at a time. Right? In second point, the letters, postcards, or telephone, or mobile, or telegram. These are the means of personal communication. Why? We have Means of mass communication also like TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, internet, films, even cinema also comes in this category. Right? Then we have India trade and its times. So meaning to everybody knows that uh, when trade takes place between uh, two or more countries, uh, that is international trade. And that is the goods exchange of goods and services, right? And uh, it has uh, two components, export and import. And uh, the place where trade takes place is called market or trading center, sometimes we call them. Here, other than this, balance of trade and uh, when it is a favorable one or when it is negative balance of trade. I mean, not in the favor of or not unfavorable you can call it unfavorable also so this is also given uh, highlighted with two different colors you can see to it if export is higher than the import it is called favorable balance of trade if import is higher than the export you can mathematics language Sir, it's a trade surplus or trade deficit wala concept yes sir jo humne make the global problem sir yes, yes, yes. Now, export from India, yes, of Cholo is a full cast in Then tourism, okay, that's not. So, this, this is the tourism last. Yeah, tourism last. <laughs> It promotes national integration in the country. This is one advantage that we have uh, through tourism. And it also uh, supports the cultural pursuits, different cultures ko and uh, it becomes familiar this way uh, through tourism only. Why we visit uh, you know, uh, any other states other than the one in which we are living or you know, the people who uh, belong to other Lands when while they visit our country, they also you know come across the cultural uh, pursuits that we have, and that is why you know our Indian culture is one of the complex uh, or composite and culture. diverse culture, uh, yeah, composite and diverse. Other than this, uh, it helps in the development of international understanding about culture and heritage, and Abne Dekha Ura Kaibar. Country level for uh, cultural nights, cultural fest, we voting. Sometimes we uh, get this knowledge through media, and sometimes not. But it is there. 
जैसे इंडिया महाविद्यालय सेंटर है या डिफरेंट जो दिल्ली के अंदर इनमें होते रहते हैं प्रोग्राम्स नाउ फॉरेन टूरिस्ट विच विजिट इंडिया दे हैव डिफरेंट पर्पजेज लाइक हेरिटेज टूरिज्म वाइल्ड दे विजिट मोनूमेंट्स इन इंडिया दैट इज हेरिटेज टूरिज्म वाइल दे कम फॉर ट्रेड पर्पजेज दैट इज इको टूरिज्म वाइल दे कम फॉर ट्रैकिंग पर्पजेज और टू एंजॉय द हिली एरिया दैट इज एडवेंचर टूरिज्म एंड वाइल अभी मैंने आपको बताया कि जो कल्चरल फेस्ट ये सब होते हैं तो कल्चरल टूरिज्म एंड वेन पीपल कम फॉर ट्रीटमेंट दैट इज मेडिकल टूरिज्म एंड ऑल्सो टू विजिट एंड आजकल आप सुपर स्पेशलिटी जो हॉस्पिटल इंडिया में देख रहे हैं इट इज बिकॉज इट इज वन ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द मेडिकल टूरिज्म बिजनेस टूरिज्म बिजनेस टूर्स लोग इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद सो ऑल दीज टर्म्स मस्ट बी क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू कौन सा टूरिज्म किस से एसोसिएटेड है क्लियर यस सर इट इज क्लियर सर नाउ अदर देन दिस फॉर एन एक्सचेंज ऑल्सो कम इन द कंट्री या तो मैं सर नहीं लिखा यस सर फॉर एन एक्सचेंज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द इंपोर्ट ऑफ द कंट्री सर इंडिया के एक से फोर आती है ना इसमें फोर्थ नंबर पर ये टूरिज्म में यस सर वो एक न्यूज़पेपर का कोलाज बनाया था तो उसमें यस सर ये सब क्लिप दे रखा है इसमें यस सर इकोनॉमिक्स के पहले चैप्टर सर सेकंड चैप्टर पहले चैप्टर में सर ये भी बता रखा है कि सर अगर हम टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री को इंडिया में इंप्रूव करेंगे तो सर 35 लाख जॉब्स और क्रिएट होंगी यस ऑफ कोर्स इंडिया मेडिकल टूरिज्म का बहुत बड़ा हब है अभी भी है along with malaysia australia sir medical know. tourism ka yes yes sir why the medi- sir why medical uh, medical facilities of india are good comparison to the european countries actually indian doctors are uh, well qualified and uh, plus jo hum report analysis karte hain jo hum test karte hain na uh, that is reliable results that we have this is the part of uh, your uh, 12th class jo sir but but we have known that the, the european medical facilities are and much improved because of the mechanization and the degrees all of that but india is you know as far as medical tourism is concerned india is providing uh, world class facilities as far as uh, medical uh, treatment of uh, different diseases are concerned and that to uh, very very uh, reduced rates compared to the other countries yes sir reduced okay sir matlab the reduced rates are is the reason wo that is the main attraction aur aapko pata hai india to basically liberal country hai bahut isliye logo ko jo bahar se aate hain india mein unko acha lagta hai ka ki kaun karana so this okay, is the uh, this chapter now we would start history geography is over yes sir geography whole and economics geography and economics is over your political science of class yes. also over yes, sir politics sir political science mein humne challenges of democracy nahi kiya chapter 8 challenge not kabhi nahi kiya bhai usme bete usme do teen question hai sir kuch nahi hai okay sir to wo khud se kar lenge hum usme main bata raha hu aapko page 104 108 dono pad lena bas ho gaya aapka okay sir actually the pitch actually outcomes of democracy and challenges to democracy uh, i mean these two chapters are the conclusion of the journey of democracy which you started from chapter 1 in 9 and ends in uh, political parties right so that is the analysis of all i mean the application of all what you have gone through okay sir so please sir uh, can you please provide only one page note of which is conclusion of that by which we can okay if you need it uh, right now i can uh, yes. i can uh, you know share with you and i can clear you what can be asked and what cannot be okay okay, okay. sir you just wait can i stop this yes okay. sir okay so the new one will be sharing one okay sir kaun se page bata rahe the yes bete 
सर कौन से पे बता रहे थे आप आप बोल रहे हो ना चैप्टर जो चैलेंजेस टू डेमोक्रेसी अभी मैं उसको करा देता हूं सर पेज नंबर्स इफ यू हैव द ओल्ड बुक इट इज 104 एंड 108 ओके सर Devam, it is one minute. Devam, it is one minute. So please. Okay, challenges to democracy. I got it.
they are unable to share. I don't know why, for what reason. But it is there, this thing. So can we... Is the screen visible, Bate? Yes, sir. Now it is visible. Yes, sir. Sir, ये तो twenty nine pages का है. Yes, Bate. Sir, ये तो twenty nine pages का है. बहुत extensive है ये तो. This has been prepared just for uh, you know, uh, I mean for the whole chapter, but in GSE point of view, it is. Very few questions that can be asked. Yeah, can you see what is the challenge? Yes, sir. Okay, a challenge is not just any problem. It is what usually the difficulties. I mean, that difficult, that difficulties that we face can be termed as challenge because these are very important to us, very significant to us, and uh, once we overcome the one, we face the another. it is just like uh, the you know you can see the image here what are these the hurdles right the one hurdle we pass we face the another uh, it is just like the race of uh, you know uh, 110 or 400 meter while we are having these hurdles so a challenge is generally a difficulty that carries within it an opportunity for progress See the one who clears all the hurdles, all the difficulties, all the challenges that, in the form of hurdles, one athlete is facing, would be the winner successfully, right? So, every challenge that we face is having an opportunity with it for progress further. So, once we overcome a challenge, we go up to the higher level. It is just like a child who, uh, you know. Uh, Want to you know go up to the stairs? So, one CD पर वो चढ़ते हैं और उसके बाद finally वो धीरे-धीरे अपने आप को drag करते हुए और finally top पर ले जाते हैं. So, this is what basically the challenge says. Is it clear? So, इससे associated कोई भी question application based question ही आएगा, direct नहीं आएगा. अगर in case आता है तो and generally we have three challenges that are being faced by every Uh, democracy throughout the world the foundational challenge the challenge of expansion and also the challenge of deepening of democracy you can see here clear yes sir okay yes sir yes sir now the question is ab isse ye aayega ki which country which of the following country is facing the foundational challenge so wahan par char country ke option honge aur unme se koi ek aapka ऐसा कंट्री होगा जो फाउंडेशनल चैलेंज को फेस कर रहा होगा फाउंडेशनल चैलेंज कौन से कंट्री फेस करते हैं इफ यू गो बाय द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस देन यू कैन कम टू नो नाउ सी दिस स्लाइड सो नॉन डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्रीज यस लाइक म्यांमार इज फेसिंग दिस चैलेंज एंड व्हिच अदर कंट्रीज आर फेसिंग दिस चैलेंज जहां पर अभी फुल फ्लैश डेमोक्रेसी नहीं है इवन आज से टेन इयर्स अगर आप पहले की बात करोगे कि किस कंट्री इराक यस 
even Afghanistan, China, even Nepal. Is it in Nepal in two thousand five? This come. Yeah, May two thousand eight. Sir, can China be a example of this? No, but we don't believe China. We don't believe in China. Yes, sir. Then North Korea. It is not, not democratic. Our jo analysis is: if, if you go by the features of democracy or the features of governing, uh, governing the country. Yes, sir. In class nine. Then, then you go to know that China cannot be called as democratic one under the rule of. Sir, you were telling me. Yes, sir. You said that the. when at one time the thousands of college students have protested and they were shoot up yes please. now bringing down the existing non democratic regime sabse pehle hi usko humne humne down karna hai just like in child just like in uh, uh, pinochet's rule child you, can you remember that story sir pinochet's yeah. rule was in poland Pinochet rule. Yes, sir. Pinochet's rule was in Poland, and Pinochet was in Poland. No. Sir, Valencia, Valencia's rule was in Poland. Lake, ah, Lake Valencia. It was Lake Valencia. Dialect issue. Who became the president? Yes, sir. He was a worker. Pinochet was the military dictator in China, or sir, Iron. Sir, then he became the ruler. Iron Day or Iron Day, जो हम बोलते हैं, Iron Day government was popularly elected. It was overthrown through the military coup, and then he ruled over the country for next seventeen years. And when he he was sure that uh, after the presidential election would be there, then for sure he would be getting the yes from the people. But it was not. That was uh, his biggest mistake, and he lost the election, and then. He became out of power, and then democracy came. So keeping military away from controlling the government, and also also establishing a sovereign and functional state in the country, sovereign and functional state, just like India is. So Myanmar is also facing this challenge. Uh, Nepal is also facing this challenge. Now, challenge of expansion. Even Afghanistan is also facing this challenge. Libya is also facing. जहाँ पर भी Disturb their country. Clear now. Challenge of expansion. Once the democracy is transit, or the government is transited, you know, transformed, or democracy is established, you have to face the challenge of expansion. Why? So, because whatever the principles, the basic principles that we have in a democratic country, you have to apply all these principles in all the regions, in all the different social groups. And in various other institutions and organizations, you have to apply all democratic principles, and then you face this challenge of expansion. Then ensuring greater power to local government government bodies. You are seeing that in India, one third positions uh, have been uh, all the positions have been uh, secured for the women in all the. Yes, sir. Local electoral bodies such as panchayats and municipalities. And ensuring federal principles to all the units of federations we have. Three units of federations like central government and state government and local government. So, usme bhi aapko puri power sabko deni hoti hai, satisfy karna hota hai aap liye. Or at all level, inclusion of women and minority groups. Women ko or minority groups ko whether have you extended any rights or protection? Uh, what sort of empowerment or uh, I mean uh, emancipation you have done to them? So, all falls under this challenge. Right. Then most countries, including India and other democracies like US, also face this challenge. <clears throat> Then challenge of deepening of democracy. Almost all the countries in the world are facing this challenge. The challenge of deepening of democracy is faced by every democracy in one or the other form. Deepening of democracy का मतलब होता है कि you have Install democracy. You have you you have expanded it to various extent, but still you are facing the challenges. While the talks of deepening of democracy is concerned, how can say this involves strengthening of the institutions and practices of democracy? उनको मजबूत करना. 
अब आपको पता है इंडिया में आप देखो आफ्टर सेवेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी स्टिल द कंट्री इज फेसिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ और द केस ऑफ रिजर्वेशन और स्टिल द फार्मर्स आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट आई मीन नथिंग इज फिक्सड वे आर इन इंडिया स्टिल देर आर मेनी अदर चैलेंजेस बींग फेस बाई दिस कंट्री सो फॉर दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑलवेज द डिपिंग the challenge of deepening of democracy is being faced by almost every country be it usa india or uk or france the most secured and established and successful democracy in the world these are iske alawa uh, generally uh, when we talk of strengthening uh, we talk of those institutions which help people's participation and control which requires an attempt to bring down the control and influence of the rich and powerful people in making governmental decisions also and different challenges you have already gone through uh, it was husni mubarak who was reelected this cartoon is maybe cartoon based question i don't uh, and and yes you could put sakte hai kyunki aajkal naye naye pattern ke questions hamesha pooch yes sir cbse also can ask yes yes so Mubarak re-elected is uh, showing the case of redeem of election. This is the pick of this man who died on 25th Feb 2020 itself, right? And uh, this this image is associated with the challenge of deepening of democracy. Sir, of which country he is? Egypt. Egypt. Did you call it? Yeah, but Egypt. Then we have. सीन दिस डेमोक्रेसी आप देख रहे हो यहाँ पर अगर इसकी बात करें तो यूज ऑफ मसल पावर बुलेट्स टू हाइजेक द इलेक्शन सो अगेन इट्स अ चैलेंज ऑफ डीपिंग ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी ये कह रहे हैं कि डेमोक्रेसी कैन नॉट कम विदाउट द यूज ऑफ मसल पावर मतलब आप ताकत के बल पर डेमोक्रेसी ला सकते हो कुछ लोग ऐसा सोचते हैं जैसे इराक में आपने देखा होगा नाइन क्लास में एक इमेज है जिसको देर आर सो मेनी मिलिट्री मैन उसको खड़ा करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं डेमोक्रेसी को मिलिट्री पावर के थ्रू या डेमोक्रेसी का भी सो व्हाट एनालिसिस यू गेट दैट फोर्सिबली यू कैन नॉट मेक एनीवन टू स्टैंड ऑन इट्स फीट एंड सो इज विद डेमोक्रेसी अंटिल अनलेस इट इट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम विद इन बाय द पीपल इट्स जब तक आप किसी चीज को अपने दिल से एक्सेप्ट नहीं करोगे आपको नो वन कैन स्टैंड मेक यू स्टैंड पॉसिबल नाउ लिबरल जेंडर इक्वालिटी ये एक कार्टून है आप देखो इसमें सभी ऑल आर मैन एक्सेप्ट दिस वन इज वुमेन सो व्हाट इट शोज दिस कार्टून शोज दैट इन प्रिंसिपल वी टॉक अबाउट जेंडर इक्वालिटी बट इन रियलिटी वी डू नॉट गिव एडिकुएट प्रेजेंटेशन टू वुमेन इन पॉलिटिक्स पर्टिकुलर वेयर we have male dominant democratic governments all over the world it is in scandinavian country where only 40 40 40 to 42% women are in the politics or in the public life otherwise rest are i mean in rest of the countries the situation is very alarming as far as women's participation in politics is concerned and in india it it has never gone up uh, up to uh, or beyond 12% This cartoon also gives us an insight to stop discrimination against women and tries to say about inclusion of more and more women in democratic politics. Why? Because women are generally considered least corruptible. So here, this pic is also showing the challenge of expansion. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, campaign, money. This is the, I mean, uh, the title of this image. The cartoon shows the use of money on election campaign to influence the decision making of people in democratic countries by rich and powerful people is going on, and how this, this is how it, it goes. So the deepening of democracy is is a challenge which is being shown here, or this pic is associated here. This is page. Uh, 104 of the textbook 
अगर आप चाहोगे तो मैं आपको शो कर सकता हूँ दिस इज दीरो पेज ये आपको स्टडी करना पड़ेगा गौतम यस सर यस सर नाउ इट विल क्लियर है यस सर क्लियर यस सर क्लियर ये सारा जब आप एनालिसिस करोगे ना तो आपको पीछे का सारा डिवाइड हो जाएगा वीजा गाना सर गाना सो यू सर अपलोड दिस पीबीटी एज वेल ऑन आवर ऐप थिंकिंग अबाउट पॉलिटिकल रिफॉर्म व्हाट इज अ पॉलिटिकल रिफॉर्म जनरली ऑल सजेशंस और प्रपोजल्स अबाउट ओवरकमिंग वेरियस चैलेंजेस टू डेमोक्रेसी आर कॉल्ड डेमोक्रेटिक रिफॉर्म्स और पॉलिटिकल रिफॉर्म क्लियर बट a list of desirable political reforms cannot be prepared because all the countries do not have the same challenges and so everyone cannot follow the same recipe of political reforms agar main baat karu ki india mein hum political reforms wo hum apply kar sakte hain which are being applied by us in its society or country like england or france in their society but it is not possible why because our culture is totally different to that so political reforms generally are prepared as per the needs of the society as a whole so what rules can be what guidelines can be kept in mind while devising the ways and means of political reforms so sabse pehle yahan par diya hua hai democratic reforms are to be carried out mainly by the political activists parties movements and political conscious citizens kyunki so, it's not a cup of tea for a layman main aap hum log nahi kar sakte wohi kar sakte hain jo politics mein hai jo politically activist hai jo jo parties uh, those uh, which are in the ruling one uh, in one session or uh, one period and other they are the in opposition so mutually they can do that and also the movements which generally give a guidelines to the government to uh, do uh, something for the welfare of our state for the welfare of the society as a whole just like people like medha patkar who started a movement as for uh, uh, tri dam which was which is under construction since 1970s or narmada bachao andolan that is that she started yeah. yes sir so such people can do that yes sir democratic reforms other than this a legal change must be done carefully why because it may result on politics say for example aaj se pehle kuch panchayat ke liye rule bana tha ki jinke do se zyada bacche hain aise couples election nahi lad sakte hain local governing body mein लेकिन इसका काउंटर इफेक्ट ये हुआ कि बहुत सारे जो बिल्कुल एबल पीपल थे हु डिजर्व टू बी इन द पॉलिटिक्स दे कुडेंट कम क्लियर सो हमें सर सर ऐसा लॉ आया था सर ऐसा कोई लॉ आया था इंडिया में ऐसा लॉ आया था सर फिर वो अभी है अभी आई थिंक वो मुझे लग रहा है कि ऐसा सोचा गया था यार स्टेट्स लाइक like बिहार के लिए और दिस वेस्ट बंगाल आई थी कुछ ऐसे स्टेट्स के लिए बना बना था वो लोकल गवर्निंग बॉडीज के लिए मे बी अभी भी हो वो सर अगर सर अगर ऐसी टेक्निक अर्बन एरियाज में करी जाए तो बिकॉज अर्बन एरिया हैज अ हाईली एजुकेशन लिटिल बिट मोर सो एंड लेस चाइल्ड दे हैव सो इन अर्बन एरिया वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट दिस इन विलेजेस वी कैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू एजुकेट द पीपल अबाउट दिस and after that we can implement there i think so yeah 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 bilkul ab yahan par dekho broad guidelines bhi third guideline kya bolti hai hame the law which empower people to carry out democratic reforms should be made say for example right to information act dekho ab isse pehle bhi maine kya bataya tha the people those who are having two or more children were not allowed to contest election in some of the states in the past right and this was not accepted by all because it had some counter effects because 
because of that law some able people were unable to come in the politics however right to information act empowers each citizen of the country regardless of their status to know more about the government and so it acts as a watchdog of democracy because a people can know following a procedure through this act what is happening inside the government or in government offices is that clear sir ye to rti ke liye bhi bola gaya tha na rti right to information act मतलब सर ये कल उसमें भी हमने देखा था कंज्यूमर राइट वाले चैप्टर इट इज यू नो दिस एक्ट इज विद विद आई मीन दिस एक्ट इज इन इंडिया विद अस सिंस अक्टूबर 2005 इट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल ओके सर यस नाउ एनी प्रपोजल फॉर डेमोक्रेटिक रिफॉर्म्स सॉरी the concern of political reforms should be to increase and improve the quality of political participation by ordinary citizens dekho aapne political parties wale last section mein padha ho chapter 6 mein padha hai aapne ki what could be the suggestions to reform leaders and the political parties the last paragraph if you have gone by the two more suggestions hai jo yes kuch bhi kaam nahi karta let the people come and join the political party if more and more participation would be there definitely there would be the reforms because ultimately the people are the real source of power in democracy so if more and more people ordinary people are joining the politics then definitely there would be better laws there would be better decisions and there would be everything would be better now any proposal for democratic reforms should think about a good solution and who will implement it and how kai baar ye bhi hota hai generally measures that rely on democratic movements citizens organizations and the media are likely to succeed kai baar kya hota hai ki democratic reforms jo hoti hai should think about a good solution but wo aisa kai baar hota hai kai baar nahi hota hai jab nahi hota hai then media realizes it judiciary realizes it working of institutions you have seen it is that clear working of institutions we have gone through the big yes sir and how it was yes, in 7% to scbc and later what happened on the then 3 years later on 8th of september 1993 when again it was implemented it was accepted by all until date it is going on right yes sir office memorandum yes okay uh, now challenges that require political reform ye aap thoda sa dekh lena ye uh, doctors absenteeism aur iska example diya hua hai aap isi tarah ke aap reforms challenges reform proposals aap de sakte ho now redefining democracy ye dekho yahan par ye jo cartoon hai kya indicate kar raha hai डेमोक्रेसी को भी रिडिफाइन किया जा सकता है समथिंग गुड कैन बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन इट जैसे मैंने यहां पर रिडिफाइन करने की कोशिश की है क्या कैसे रिडिफाइन कर सकते हैं रूलर इलेक्टेड बाई द पीपल मस्ट टॉक ऑल द मेजर डिसीजन इलेक्शन मस्ट ऑफर अ चॉइस एंड फेयर अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द पीपल टू चेंज द करेंट रूलर जबकि इन केस ऑफ पिनोश इट वॉज नॉट in case of uh, pri in mexico it was not in case of uh, myanmar where the, the democratic elections took place but the janata government did allow the aung san suu kyi to take the oath as the prime minister of myanmar and still there is a deadlock in the country till date then the choice and opportunity should be available to all the people on equal basis was it there in china no was it there under robert mugabe's party of janu pf in zimbabwe no sir so, so no free and fair election was there in mugabe sab aapko realize karna padega recall karna padega uh, agar question aata hai is chapter se right so this exercise of the exercise of this choice must lead to a government limited by basic rules 
of the constitution and citizens right citizens right we have already gone through about south arabia citizens right and right of south south africa also uh, in class 9 class chapter and also india so you can think of what are the basic rules uh, i mean which put limits on the government and do do the government actually following those limitations while they are working in the best interest of society as a whole right yes sir now you have to write your own definition of democracy these are the pages where you can write oh it's time for this minute what is the challenge there are challenges and difficulty in the path of something or anything name the dominant form of government in the contemporary world democracy 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 what is the democratic reform so the suggestions and ideas which are given and the to update the democracy also known as political reform yes sir what type yes, of yes sir best what type of laws are called to be best which empower the people so that promotes the equality and fraternity of among the citizens by yes, the unity in the citizen the laws which empower the people abhi to humne padha tha watch dogs ke bare mein padha tha na yes sir yeah yes sir yeah to aapko ye thoda sa na dhyan rakhna padega now what uh, in what way does rti help the people in a democracy is a right to information will help the people to uh, inquire about the workings or the about and whether government the current government work yes who can start with the objective questions ki baat karni hai na to ye to board mein hai si agar aap ye sare answer jante ho na to isi tarah ke questions aap kuch bhi option wo de de aapko you must stick to the what what is right yes sir who can carry out democratic reforms sir any one or the political, political activist and political party yes political parties political activists and movement political analyzer yes yes yes, yes. now isi tarah se question wo puche jayenge theek hai and this is assessment too it is not meant for you Okay. Uh, is there anything that you want to discuss? Still, you have uh, fifteen uh, twenty minutes. Yes, please, sir. Yes, sir. How a country's currency is defined, or how it is compared? Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question again? Sir, as we know that uh, one dollar means that seventy rupees. Sir, how this happens and how we can, how this is regulated, the currency. So that, so that, so that same amount of goods can be purchased throughout the world. Because one dollar has been decided as uh, uh, because it's an international currency, obviously, and uh, uh, you know, in any parts of the world. Uh, if uh, you know you are buying uh, or getting something same amount of goods would be there uh, in uh, 1 dollar right also depends on the gold reserves of country anything else yes please sir yes my dear sir why political party are the most are considered as to the most visible institutions in the country see think of the situation without the political parties in the world is there uh, any other uh, you know option of the political parties and if it is there then who would be responsible for making all the decisions or implementing the same and then in case if there is a problem who would be taking care of 
uh, you know the uh, things which go wrong in the country and if it is possible making the government without the political parties then who would be making and how you would be electing them right and say if i if i go by an example uh, that some people say that it is uh, possible that government can be made then on what criteria you would be deciding that who would be the eldest one and who would be the most experienced and intelligent one or knowledgeable one and i mean is that uh, the person would be able to take decisions for the entire country or would be taking for the own constituency so there are certain doubts and certain questions uh, are put up in that case so for that point of view without the political parties we cannot think of even formation of the government and that is why they are omnipresent whether it is a democratic country or it is a semi democratic one or it is a non democratic one political parties are everywhere yes sir and less educated people less educated people also know about uh, them yeah isme aapko na ek political parties mein kahin likha hua hai necessity this 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 chapter starts with the why do we need political parties then you have to know the meaning of the political parties the components the fee, the functions given by the political party and then you come to the necessity which means you have a another approach Importance. based on which see there are many functions which are done by the political party other than these there are i mean many other many other which you even cannot think of agar ghar mein parents hote hain bacche jhagda karte hain hum generally we approach to the parents ki uh, isne hame mara ya isne ye kiya wo kiya and the things are sorted out accordingly right and if you do not have these options can you think of who would be coming in case if you have a quarrel situation between two or more children in the family in any given family so in that case it is obvious it is that that the bean parties are omni present and without which we cannot think of formation of the government yes sir yes any other yes sir question? so in the next class we would be taking up your uh, history right yes sir in next class we will revise ninth history but yes, still sir. you have 10 minutes if you want to uh, ask anything sir yes bete sir who is the currently head former head of the bjp who is the currently former head of the bjp narendra modi ha narendra modi sir somewhere they there is bjp nadda who is the current head of the party ha नो नरेंद्र मोदी नहीं है बेटे इट्स जेपी नड्डा यस सर सर पार्टी सर वाई पार्टी हेड पार्टी हेड क्यों क्यों नहीं होगा सर पार्टी प्रेसिडेंट देखो बेटे पार्टी प्रेसिडेंट का मतलब है एवरीथिंग ऑल द एक्टिविटीज एसोसिएटेड विद द पार्टी अदर देन द गवर्नमेंट देखो बीजेपी की अपनी भी तो एक्टिविटीज है ना बहुत सारी जो चलती रहती है कंट्री के अंदर यस सर तो उसका हेड उस पूरी एक तरह से बीजेपी का जो प्रेसिडेंट है इस टाइम वो जेपी नड्डा ही है एंड मिस्टर मोदी इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द कंट्री और ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ओके सर सो बट हु विल हैविंग हु विल बी हैविंग द हाई पोस्ट इन द पार्टी द वन हु इज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द पार्टी दिस इज द हाईएस्ट पोस्ट फॉर द पॉलिटिकल पार्टी जस्ट लाइक इधर ये नेहरू गांधी फैमिली जो चल रहा है अभी आईएमसी में सोनिया गांधी इधर सोनिया गांधी और राहुल गांधी वो हाईएस्ट पोस्ट ही होती है 
बट बीजेपी में वहां पर हर साल इलेक्शन होते रहते हैं और वो बदलते रहते हैं वोट ओके सर सर यस बेटे सर देयर वाज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एनटीएससी सर आई कैन डिटेल सर द मेन रीजन व्हाई द सोसाइटी ऑफ रेवोल्यूशनरी एंड रिपब्लिकन मूवमेंट वाज सेट अप ड्यूरिंग द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन वाज बिकॉज़ सर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वुमेन वांटेड लॉज दैट वुड हेल्प इंप्रूव हर लाइफ वुमेन वांटेड द सेम पॉलिटिकल राइट्स एज़ मेन वुमेन वांटेड देयर इंटरेस्ट टू बी प्रॉपर्ली रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द न्यू गवर्नमेंट और सर लास्ट वुमेन वांटेड एक्सेस टू एजुकेशन ट्रेनिंग फॉर जॉब्स एंड वेजेस ऑन द पार विद मेन तो सर मेरे को इसमें बी और सी में डाउट है सर अच्छा इसमें सर यस सर सर वुमेन वांटेड द पॉलिटिकल राइट्स एज मेन और सर वुमेन वांटेड देयर इंटरेस्ट टू बी प्रॉपर्ली रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द न्यू गवर्नमेंट सर इनमें से कौन सा होगा पहले वाला पॉलिटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके सर पता है क्यों देखो अगर आपने फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन पढ़ा हो व्हाट वाज द कंडीशन ऑफ वुमेन before the french revolution and uh, what what steps were taken by robert pierre pierre's government or the uh, revolutionary government to empower women wo steps agar aapne padhe ho to yes sir bilkul clearly clear ho jayega and uh, why we would be taking up history part we would definitely be discussing this also okay so, sir aapko bilkul clear ho jayega ki ye sab uh, sab kya hai anything else Yes, sir. Anything else that you want? Is there any other doubt, children? No, sir. No, sir. I'm still here only because uh, still three minutes are left. If any one of you have any doubt, you please uh, clarify. Okay, well, how many chapters you have prepared so far? सर पोल साइंस इकोनॉमिक्स ज्योग्राफी और सर हिस्ट्री एक बार सर लास्ट वाला चैप्टर एज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन रिवाइज का है। एज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन? No, sir. We have done the globalization. Yes, yes, sir. Our last chapter of history was the making of globalization, and we have to start the making. We have to start the industrialization with. Yes, sir. Last chapter from industrialization. Sir, we have to start with industrialization. We have not done it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Two chapters are left in our history: industrialization and the last one, print art culture. The, okay, print culture. So, okay. I have prepared the notes of these two. Message is clear to everybody. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Sir. Yes, Vijay. Sir, what is your name? My name. I just work. Okay, sir. So can you make the piece of curry cover chapters? Aryan, kya kya bola bade? Aapki awaaz clear nahi hai. So can you make the piece of the chapters I have covered? PPT on 
सर ही इज सेइंग दैट कैन यू प्रिपेयर सम ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस फॉर द चैप्टर्स व्हिच आर नॉट कंप्लीटेड ऑफ हिस्ट्री सच एज इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड देन प्रिंट कल्चर बिकॉज़ हिस्ट्री चैप्टर रिक्वायर ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस ओके यस सर आपको पता है ना मैं अभी भी जो पढ़ा रहा हूं आपको एनटीएससी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बिल्कुल कंक्रीट और इंपॉर्टेंट ही पढ़ा रहा हूं है ना और डोंट वरी वंस इट इज फिनिश्ड आई वुड डेफिनेटली आई मीन ऑन माय पार्ट आई वुड ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड यू द अनपल मटेरियल ओके सर ओके यस सर तो एनीथिंग दैट यू वांट टू नो सर कैन वी लीव ओके no sir so, uh, it's time to say goodbye today uh, now yes we'll sir see you tomorrow good evening yes, sir good evening sir good evening. okay sir good evening good sir good evening thank you sir good evening sir thank you sir okay